Prepare the hose per Procedure 1100, General Preparation Instructions. Lay flat hose can be difficult to cut with a traditional hose knife or razor knife. It is recommended to use a cutter designed for lay flat hose as shown here. With this type of cutter, raise the cutter blade then open the jaws. Insert the hose between the jaws with the cut mark in the center of the jaws. Close the jaws and lower the cutter blade fully. Raise the cutter blade, open the jaws and remove the hose. Insert the coupling into the hose. For male couplings, the hose should contact the hose stop. Position the clamp so the crease in the hose is centered under the clamp body. The clamp should also be touching the hose stop. For clamps 3 inch and below, as shown here, the lettering detail on the clamp must be facing away from the threads. Insert the bolt through the bolt holes, positioning the hex head of the bolt into the hex slot of the clamp. Place the washer over the threads of the bolt and finger tighten the nut. The washer and nut must be in the round slot as shown here. Repeat the process for the other side. Using a socket, tighten the nut so there is equal amount of thread showing past both nuts. Place a mark near one nut. This mark indicates the starting point for the bolt tightening sequence. For female couplings, insert the shank into the hose leaving 1 16th of an inch of shank showing. Failure to do so could result in the swivel nut being difficult, if not impossible, to turn after the clamp is installed. Again, position the clamp halves so the crease in the hose is in the center of the clamp body. The end of the clamp should be even with the end of the hose. The clamp lettering detail is to be facing away from the swivel nut. Insert the bolts, making sure the washer and nut are in the round slot. After finger tightening both bolts, tighten both with a socket so there is equal amount of thread showing. Place a mark near one nut. Starting with the nut having the X near it, tighten the nut one full turn, or four quarter turns as shown here. Tighten the opposite side nut one full turn, or four quarter turns. Continue tightening nuts, alternating back and forth until both are tightened to the recommended torque value as listed on the flat seal page of the current Dixon catalog. Notice that a piece of pipe that is slightly smaller than the inside diameter of the coupling has been placed in the vise and the coupling has been slid over the pipe. This makes it easier for the installer to alternate between nuts without damaging the hose or coupling. Note. 1. Flat seal couplings are for lay flat hose and single jacket fire hose with a wall thickness between 5 ths and 3 16 inch. Flat seal couplings are designed for use with flat seal clamps only. For 4 inch and 6 inch clamps with gripping fingers, the gripping fingers must be placed behind the stem collar. Torque values are for dry bolts. Lubricant will adversely affect clamp performance. Always use a torque wrench. Over tightening the bolts, as can happen with an impact gun, can damage the clamp. This damage may not be noticeable right away and may cause the clamp to fail in service. Test the assembly using Procedure 4000, General Hydrostatic Testing Information, as well as Procedure 4001, Hydrostatic Testing. Dixon, the right connection.